guys. Greetings from Germany. Yeah, I'm here at Frankfurt Airport, but not for long. Only about an hour or two. Then we're going to keep going. But in the meantime, let's get something to eat. Pretzels. Pretzel time. Where's the bed? Somewhere around here. There it is. Okay, this'll do. Not too small. I got an office too, that's kind of nice. Closet. There we go. There we go, it's the bathroom. Yes, we're gonna take a shower and we're gonna jump in this bed and we're going to pass out because we've been up for 36 hours. This is the bar in my place. And I think breakfast is down here too. All right, let's go find some food outside. This is the lobby. Pretty funky, let's go outside. Okay, let's uh, let's wander around a bit. See what we can see, guys. Battery's pretty dead on this camera. Oh, it's only about seven o'clock. I'm pretty tired. I slept about an hour, just trying to recover. But I didn't want to sleep just straight through because then I'd be stuck on American time and not being adjusted to European time. So the plan is to go out and eat and then come back and kind of adjust back to America, to Europe time. Hopefully go to bed. <laughs> but first we need to find something. I know there's a burger place nearby and there's a Vietnamese place around here I've been to once or twice. Maybe we'll try something different. Go halfway, or halfway around the world just to have a burger. Yeah, that's me. University Square, Metro, parking. Uh, coffee shop. We're gonna go down to the left. Academic bookstore. Let's see what the kids are reading here in Romania. <laughs> One piece. Art books. Looks like Harry Potter. Where's the street I want to show you guys? The other end of this building is the street that I wanted to show you. Uh, Oh, 
Oh. So I'm on travel all week. I'm not here all week. I'm going to be going to some other places. And we won't have a lot of time for videos. But tonight is pretty open. There's a little church down here. getting text messages left and right. I have two SIM cards in my phone, so it'll get spam on two different networks. All right, this should be it. Yep, this is it. So back here, guys, is known as Umbrella Street. And you'll know why if you look up. Yeah, the entire ceiling is rainbow umbrellas. <laughs> I wish we had more alleys like this in America. Our alleys are filled with rats and sus stuff. This one has like a couple of little shops and something cool up in the sky. I'll have to come back here in the morning and film this. Sure, it looks quite different all lit up. There you go. Umbrella Street in Bucharest. Let's get the other camera out. Pretty dark back here. Lots of uh, competing light sources too. All right, let's go find some food. There's a drone up there, actually. Sus. <laughs> so we're down in the old town. Little bubbles for eating. Everything's open till like midnight, they said, or a lot of places are. That place has got burgers. And let's wander about. Oh, that's a... I think there's a church back here on the left. People always say Bucharest is like Prague before Prague got renovated and became really expensive. Of course, they've been saying that for like 10, 15 years. <laughs> Not sure when that'll ever come to be. What is this guy playing? Digital harp or something. So you can see the Romanian flag up there and then the EU flag. Uh, Romania is part of the EU, it's part of NATO, and starting next month it's part of the Schengen Treaty, which means uh, people from Europe can crisscross around without the visa requirements that usually hold things up. Make it a lot easier for more tourists to come here. What those like little uh, Romanian uh, bagels things? Some dude. singing along.
know some of you are saying I should eat like local Romanian food. I'm gonna eat local Romanian food for the next week. <laughs> so tonight's my night to get like Asian or a good burger or something like that. Most of these places are kind of touristy, you know. European Premier League's on. That's Luton Aston Villa, I think. Lots of kebab places. Dollar kebab. Slovaki station. You never get enough Slovaki. As the night gets, as we get deeper into the night, it gets a little bit more crazy down here, yeah? <laughs> Trinity College. Interesting pub name. Hey, there's a subway. Subway is universal. I think the Parliament Square is straight ahead, a couple blocks. Dancing bartenders? No, I don't see it. Let's go up this side street. Sorry. Uh, yeah, let's go see what we can find up here. Most of these places are touristy. Pizza place back there look good. Strip clubs? Oh, are those the donuts? No, it's cookies. Cookies next to a massage parlor. I'll take the cookies. I think this loops back to where we were. What I love about this, though, is that there's nightlife. You know, in the United States, after 9 o'clock, everything shuts down. And that which doesn't shut down, well, gets a little sus. Some little Romanian clothing. Traditional. I've got so many Romanian Christmas ornaments and other stuff I don't need anymore. My wife was actually putting some in a box the other day. She's like, why do you get all this stuff? Well, it's Saturday, right? It's Saturday night, so all the games are done. 
in England, I think. Maybe the late game is still going on. If we loop back around. There's a beautiful building down here. Yeah, here it is. Can you see it at the end of the road yet? This is the Instagram famous. I think it's a bank. So, yeah, there's a little church over here. It's really gorgeous. I went inside this a couple of years ago when it was being renovated. And, like, the ceiling and everything is just amazing. This is little church. Yeah. I think it's closed right now, yeah. Maybe tomorrow morning I can come out here. I thought there's a bigger church down there. Alright. There it is. Told you it's a pretty building. I'm gonna take a picture of it with my big camera. church back here. This is a pretty building. So if I remember the parliament is down farther, there's like a long promenade. I'm not going to go there at night. I'll show you that tomorrow morning maybe. If I get up on time. Seems to be a chain of touristy food. Last time. Uh, watching rugby. So this is where we started. There's a place up here on the left I think I'm going to go to. I thought I saw this. This is a really famous bookstore here in Old Town. Let's take a look, yeah. Looks cool, so. Instagram worthy. stores like that we got Barnes and Noble <laughs> anyway let's go see what else we can find yeah I think I might just end up getting a pizza in my room <laughs> seriously kind of like exhausted uh, beer station <laughs> Good subway stop. I think this is the uh, university stop down here. I get all turned around when I walk on these back streets. Starbucks because, well, it's everywhere. Came over the side street because it's probably not as oh, Products of Germany. This is like an all German product store. German products over here are like Japanese products in Asia. You know, they're wanted for their quality and whatnot. Coffee, traditional Romanian food. Another bookstore. Pepsi. Oh, there's a Mickey D's down there. Dare me to go to McDonald's? Yeah, I'm not going to McDonald's. <laughs> oh. This place here had the little the little bagel things I wanted, but they're sold out right now. Oh. 
Open Tartha. I just saw a place that was selling like chicken kebabs and whatnot, and it was called a sex, sex shop. I was like, huh? But then I realized that there were two stores next to each other. <laughs> it's like, that must be some really good chicken. So there is a uh, pizza by the slice place just behind my hotel I saw earlier. I think that's what we're going to grab. We're going to go back in the hotel, put on some Romanian sports TV, and probably just go to bed. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is. It's 8.30, which is like 2.30 in the afternoon, Washington, D.C. time. <laughs> Okay, guys, that ends a very long day or two of traveling. I'm going to go to bed. I will maybe see you sometime this week. I don't really know. Definitely be back in Washington next week or on the weekend, and we'll be showing you stuff there. But maybe we'll get a chance to make another video. We'll see. All right, thanks for watching. See you soon.